Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 3 to the power of x is equal to 30. So, to solve this equation, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 3 to the power of x is equal to log of 30. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 3 is equal to log 30. Now that x is an actual term, I can solve for it by getting rid of this log 3. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 30 over log 3. Now, log 30, I'm going to rewrite that as log of 3 times 10. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 3 times 10 is equal to log 3 plus log 10. Now I have this over log 3. So now this is equal to log 3 over log 3 plus log 10 over log 3. Now log 3 and log 3, these two cancel out, so I get x equals 1 plus log 10 over log 3. And log 10 is 1, so I get x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 3. Now 1 over log 3 is equal to 2.096. So x is equal to 3.096. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of x. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation. So my equation is 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, to solve this, what I'm going to do is first factor out 2 to the power of 10 to my left-hand side. So if I factor out 2 to the power of 10, I get 2 to the power of 10 times, well, 2 to the power of 10 divided by 2 to the power of 10 is 1, so I get 2 to the power of 10 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now from here, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, so I get 2 to the power of 10 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x. And a simpler way of doing this is instead of just factoring this out, well, we have two 2 to the power of 10s here, and if anything added by itself is the same thing as that number times 2. So we could have just said 2 to the power of 10 times 2 at the beginning instead of factoring it out. So now from here, what I want to do is I can actually do this, solve this from here in two methods. So for method 1, I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 2 as 2 to the power of 1. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 1 
is equal to 2 to the power of 10 plus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 11. So I get 2 to the power of 11 is equal to 2 to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x is equal to 11. Now, method 2 of solving the problem from this step right here. So I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, instead of multiplying 2, I'm going to divide 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2. Now, 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x over 2 to the power of 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of x minus 1. And now, again, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 10 is equal to x minus 1, or I could write this as x minus 1 is equal to 10. And now if I add 1 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 10 plus 1, which is 11. So as you can see, these are the two methods, and method 1 is actually much simpler. It only took a couple of steps compared to method 2. And now the final step that we have to do, and we always have to do this in every equation, is to check our answer. So our equation was 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of x. We got x equals 11, so I get 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of 11. 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is the same thing as 2 times 2 to the power of 10. And 2, 2 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of 10 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 plus 10, which is equal to 2 to the power of 11.